Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. And I'm the Rover. Welcome to Mars! Wow! The Red Planet! That's right! Mars is nicknamed the Red Planet because it's covered with rust-like dust. Even the atmosphere is a pinkish red colored by tiny particles of dust thrown up from the surface. Ooh, pink is one of my favorite colors. What else can you tell me, Rova? Mars has many massive volcanoes and it is home to Olympus Mons, the largest planetary volcano in our solar system. It stands 21 kilometers high and is 600 kilometers across at the base. 21? 600 kilometers? That's so big. I want to count all the kilometers. Well, maybe if we have the time a little later. Um, let, let, let's, let's continue looking first. Mars has a very thin atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide. It is not thick enough to trap the sun's heat like Venus, so the planet is very cold. Temperatures range from negative 120 degrees Celsius on a winter's night to 25 degrees Celsius in the summer. That's negative 193 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a very drastic swing. No wonder no one lives here. Indeed, there are ideas for Martian colonization, but right now most everything is theoretical. So that means you're not from here. Well, there are several rovers on Mars. Spirit from 2004, Opportunity also from 2004, the Phoenix Mars Lander from 2008, not, not really a rover, but it's here, and the Mars Science Laboratory, known as Curiosity. It landed here in 2012, and he's still rolling around. But not you. No, not me. Well, I mean, I'm here now. But these guys all came from Earth. They aren't from here. Oh, right. So you are not from Mars. Nope. Oh, well. Maybe we should check out the asteroid belt. There might be some clues there. Excellent. Let us go. Flying rocks that do not melt, take us to the asteroid belt. Farewell. Bye bye now. Salutations. I'm Alpha Betty. I love the alphabet. I've come to an A place. Do you know its name? That's right! It's the Alamo! Can you help me find all the other A things? Thanks! Let's get started! Apple Great! What else? Ant Good job! Axe Nicely done! Alligator so snappy. Astronaut. Shiny. Acorn. I'm nuts for you. Well, that's all of them. Next time, we'll go to a bee place and find bee things. Well, time to go. A, B, see you later. Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. I have found another clutch of dinosaur eggs. I'm not quite sure what kind they are. Did you know there are over 700 different species of dinosaurs? And that paleontologists believe there are many more yet to be classified and even discovered? Wow! That is so many dinosaurs! We can't count all of them now, but we can count these eggs. Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, five dinosaur eggs. I wonder what kind they are. They could be Triceratops, Brontosaurus. I hope they aren't T-Rex. 
Oh, look! They're starting to hatch. Let's find out. Oh, baby raptors. One baby raptor. Two baby raptors. Three baby raptors. Four baby raptors. Five baby raptors. Huh. Well, um, no nipping on the counting wizard this time. I, I know what to do. What do baby raptors eat? Baby raptors eat up meat! Hmm. Yum, yum. Eat it up. Yes, very good. Steak for you. Oh. oh, look. Your mommy and daddy are back. I think that means I should go. <laughs> Farewell! Greetings. I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. And I'm the rover. And we're here looking for my home. Thanks for helping us out. Well, Rover, we're on Earth. What do you know about this wonderful place? The Earth is very unique in the solar system in many ways. It's the only planet that has liquid water on its surface. Ooh, I love the water. Me too. It's fun and you get to clean with it and splash around. Also, the Earth is the only inner planet with one large satellite. The moon! I really enjoy how much the moon reflects the sun's light at night. Oh, good fact there, wizard. Nice. You know, when viewed from outer space, much of the Earth's surface can't be seen due to clouds of water vapor. That vapor makes the Earth very shiny, like in this photo from Apollo 17 in 1972. Beautiful. As the Earth rotates around the sun, it tilts very slightly, and in doing so, gives us the seasons. When the Earth has tilted so that the northern half of the Earth is a little bit toward the sun, the northern hemisphere has summer. And when it's tilting away from the sun, the northern hemisphere has winter. I love it when the leaves turn color during the change of seasons. I like rolling over them when they're all crunchy. The Earth differs from all the other planets because it has a wide diversity of life and intelligent beings. This has only been possible because of the Earth's atmosphere, which has protected the Earth and allowed life to flourish. Hmm, that means we must do everything we can to protect it. That's right, Counting Wizard. As of 2017, humans are stuck on Earth with nowhere else to go, so we better take care of it. Indeed, Rova. So it seems that you are made by humans. And you like the Earth an awful lot. Are you from the Earth? Hmm. It does feel familiar, but something's not right. It's not matching my historical data. I guess it can't be Earth. Weird. Well, that sure is interesting. Shall we go to the next one? Yeah! Mars, the red planet. Let's go! Farewell! Top of the morning, adventurers! Today, I have discovered a temple in the heart of the jungle. The gate is open, but who knows what's inside? Come, let's explore! Ah, a floor puzzle. There are several shapes on the floor. But what pattern do we use to cross? Do you see any clues? What's that? The wall? Oh. Hmm. Square, pentagon, triangle, circle. That must be how we cross safely. First, the square. We go across the bottom, up the side, over the top, and back down the other side. Very good. Next, the pentagon. It has five sides. Let's start at the bottom, just like the square, and go across. Then up and a little to the right. Now we turn back left and continue going up. Here we make a point and go back down and left. Lastly, we go down, but a little to the right, back to where we started. There, the pentagon. Good job. That one was tricky. 
Now the triangle. But this one is upside down. So, we start at the point. Now we go up and to the right, across the top, going left, and now back down and to the right, returning to the point. Very good! That was different from the last triangle. And finally, the circle. Start at the bottom, going up and around, over the top, and now back down. Nicely done! Ah, we've made it to the opposite side of the room. And look at all these marvelous shapes you've drawn. Thank you for your help. I can't wait to find out what's in the next room. Ta-ta for now. Greetings. I'm the counting wizard. I love to count. I'm looking for that Linus the Minus. Have you seen him? No? Hmm, me neither. I think he's around here somewhere. Oh look, a row of bicycles. Did you know there have been more than twice as many bikes made than cars? Wow! And right now, more than two billion bicycles are in use around the world. Wow, that's so many. Well, there aren't two billion here, but let's count them anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, six by you. Whoa! What? Uh, uh, uh. I'm minus the minus, and I love subtraction. I have subtracted one bicycle. Six minus one equals five. Minus the minus. I've been looking for you. You can't destroy anything you want because you love subtraction. Does not compute. Time for more subtraction. Five minus two equals three. Good luck counting while I'm subtracting. Ah, ah, ah. Later, loser. Ah, ah, ah. No, wait, you must listen. Rat. We must teach him that he can subtract things without blowing them up. <sighs> Let's fix the problem he made and bring back the bicycles. Having fun with trikes? Bring back the bikes! There. Six. Six bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks for helping me count them. Now catch up with Linus the Minus. Farewell! Hmm. Well, Rover, to find out where you're from, where should we go next? The next closest planet is Venus. That seems like the most logical choice, but due to the intense atmosphere, I suggest we magic there so we don't burn up on entry. Burn up? I don't want to do that. Magic it is. A joke can give us a snort. To Venus we must transport. Oh, it sure is warm. That's because Venus is the hottest planet in our system. Well, magic will keep us safe for now. What can you tell me about Venus? Venus rotates on its axis very slowly. It takes 243 Earth days for one Venus day. That's quite a long time. Also, Venus rotates in the opposite direction to the Earth. It's possible that an asteroid collided with Venus, causing it to rotate in that direction. Whoa, that must have been a big asteroid. Venus and Earth are often called sister planets, as they are very similar in size. So similar, in fact, as they are only 638 kilometers difference in their diameter. 638 kilometers? That's so very close to the same size. Rover, have any other spacecraft been to Venus? Well, the Russians sent the first mission to Venus, 
The Venera 1 space probe was launched in 1961, but it lost contact with its base. The United States also lost their first Venus probe, Mariner 1. But Mariner 2 was able to take measurements of Venus in 1962. And, um, well, the Soviet Union also has the first man-made craft to land on Venus, Venera 3, back in 1966. Oh, so once again... Yeah, it would seem I am not from Venus. Bummer. But it is very hot. True. I do seem to enjoy a milder climate. Oh well, let's go to Earth. Indeed, farewell. Bye bye now. Greetings, I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. I've located another dinosaur nest. Let's see if we can count the eggs. Oh, mighty Brontosaurus. Hello there! Mind if I count your eggs? Why, thank you so very, very much. Whoa, there are eight Brontosaurus eggs. Would you help me count them? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Oh, you did such a good job. Ah, oh no, those hungry raptors are coming to eat these brontosaurus eggs. What can we do? Say what now? You're right, a spell. I'll cast a spell. Hmm, hmm. Broccoli spell, no, no. Salad spell, no. Raptors don't eat salads. Oh, I know. I know the one! Win a yummy meal to make? Hungry raptors eat up steak! Oh, we did it! Thank you so much for helping me! And oh, look! They're hatching! Can you help me count them? One baby brontosaurus! Two baby brontosaurus! Three baby brontosaurus! Four baby brontosaurus! Five baby brontosaurus, six baby brontosaurus, seven baby brontosaurus, eight, eight baby brontosauruses. We saved them just in time. Oh, I wonder what else we'll find. Farewell. Subscribe for daily learning.